good morning. The sun is just rising here. I'm once again at Lee K Ponds. You're probably sick of me being here. Don't worry, I'm going to go to some new places soon. I'm just so determined to find this eagle. I actually bought access to the entire property now. You have to pay 10 bucks, and then you get access to the whole conservation area. It's also kind of a shooting range and a dog training area. I'm obviously only using it for bird watching, so I'm excited that I can check more ponds to try and find this eagle. So we'll see what we can find. Now the first few ponds didn't yield a ton of results, so I moved to the main area with all the heron nesting boxes to see what I could find. a few more species to my Utah birds challenge which was awesome but I still was not finding any birds of prey still the great blue heron provided a nice little treat to see in fact I ended up seeing about four herons that day and then I took a closer look at some of the gulls and I actually noticed some with pink legs that were quite a bit larger than the other ones so I'm pretty sure this is my first herring gull sighting then I moved along to some other ponds and amidst a bunch of mallards and coot I came across my first redhead of the year Just wanted to pause the video to give a quick warning. If you don't like seeing bird remains, I did come across some in the next section. So if you don't want to see that, skip ahead to the timestamp listed on the screen. So I'm by the fish hatchery right now, and I don't know what I just saw. It looks like the wing of a large bird, like an eagle. I wonder if there's actually fish in there and the eagle tried to get in and ended up getting caught and died. Um, it'd be pretty crazy, but it looks like it's just a wing hanging there. If you have thoughts on what this is, let me know. It could be molting, maybe, but it does look like a remain to me. Don't worry, I did report this to the local DNR. But anyways, on with the video. After that interesting find, we came across some other ponds with a ton of waterfowl. And my IDing skills aren't super great, so I knew I wasn't going to be able to do it in the moment. So we're going to pause it now to pick through these. Of course, we have our Canada Goose, Mallard, and American Coot that we've seen already. And if I got my gadwall identification wrong earlier, we got another one here on the edge of the screen. And we have another redhead, which is distinguishable by its blue bill and redhead. And we have some exciting additions that are new for the year and some that count towards the challenge. We have another red-headed bird with a black bill. That's a canvas back, you can see. On the bottom, you can see there's one bird with a really long tail that's sleeping and has a tan band towards the back of its tail. That is a northern pintail, which counts towards the challenge. And lastly, I spotted a few ring-necked ducks on the top. Seriously, what an amazing variety of birds. Crazy to get so many. We weren't quite done though. Watching the bottom of the screen as a pied-billed greed pops up, which is another towards our total, and a new bird for me.
Well, that's gonna unfortunately- At this point, I started filming my outro and I was a little bummed out because I didn't see the eagle, but I did not realize how many different species I saw in that group of waterfowl, which is pretty awesome. So I'm a lot more happy after having picked through that footage, but the day wasn't quite over. I got some more great shots of some western meadowlark on the way out. Then we had a special treat. I spotted something off in the distance in the branches, took a closer look, and noticed it was a northern harrier. So that means we ended the day with 20 out of our 130 species we're trying to see in the Birds of Utah Field Guide Challenge, which is pretty awesome for a novice birder like myself. But now we're going to actually wrap up the video. Thanks as always for watching my videos. I'll see you in the next one.